Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cross Studios here, and I'm here with another custom Halo set review. Um, this is my second of the Halo custom series that I'm doing. This is the Banshee. Um, and this is a pretty cool vehicle right here. Um, it didn't take me too long to make, but I think the designs on it are a lot better than the one I had before. What I had before actually has some similar design to what I did. Um, basically in now's model I guess you could say and the model that I made uh, recently um, but I think this one's a lot better and it has a lot of cool details and stuff on it so let's get straight on to it so moving on to the Banshee this would probably be like a $15 set if it were an actual Lego set um, that's what I'd be guessing you can see the guns on the front right here are these translucent dark blue pieces um, and you can see how I hooked the wings together with um, basically I just crossed these two into a big area where I hooked, where I secured them in with studs I actually had to put studs and stuff around these pieces to, um, because you can't put one by ones because they're square and it wouldn't have fit with these pieces and stuff like that. So I had to do a lot of things um, that made it so it stayed secure and it still looked accurate to the um, video game. Um, you can see the top piece I used right here. I used this big kind of boat piece right here except I used it upside down to make that shape of the banshee right there which is pretty cool looking. Um, unfortunately these are gray which I really wanted to change. Um, unfortunately, I can't because I don't have those really in a color that would match with this. Um, same thing with the other side. It's the same exact thing. And you can see how it has that big booster on the back right there, which is pretty cool looking um, on the back of the wings. And one of the features with the set is how it basically just opens up like the game. Um, in the game, you actually had to get inside to open this up. Like when you open it up, you actually crawled inside. It's not like that on here. Um, on this one, you can see I gave him a shotgun. Um, to put the minifigure inside, you basically just hook them on this handle right here. On basically these handlebars, if I can get them on. Um, I think you guys kind of get the picture though. How he just basically connects on right here. Then you close this up and he's kind of inside. You can see how that works. And on the front has that big window like it does in the video game. You can see I hooked it like this. It's a really odd technique. You can see how I did that. Basically, this can move up. It's not really meant to, but it can. But it's, it's basically just the window design. It looks pretty cool, though. You can see out the bottom. You can see out the side. I think this is one of my better models just for perspective and accuracy um, overall. Um, you can see what it looks like right there from the top. So I think this is one of my favorite Halo models I've made. Um, one of my favorites, definitely, and I think it's pretty cool. So that is basically it for the Banshee. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I've been making a lot of these Halo sets lately, and I have another big one coming up, which is an alien vehicle as well. Um, and I'm guessing you guys already guessed the vehicle. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, custom Halo set review. Make sure to comment and subscribe.